Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Songs of Six. Today, I think we're gonna have a goal of increasing our Dondorian happiness. I've been looking through their uh, stuff, their desires, and one thing sprung out to me is like something that we could easily increase, and that is the melee training fulfillment. They can get up to one point of happiness from melee training, but it's going to require, like, a lot of Dondorian divisions, which is completely fine. I like the idea of the, the dwarf guard being the sort of people who guard home base, right? Uh, but before I did that, one thing I noticed is there's a lot of dudes hanging out around this area, and it doesn't have 100% awe. So what I wanted to start off the episode with was making the sort of non, like, central roadie area into plaza. So that people spending their time here would, uh, you know, have 100% awe. Uh. God, it would be, like, a little bit easier if these motherfuckers weren't standing here. So I wanted there to be, like, a gap around the statue. But then everything else to be plaza, except for the stuff connecting directly to the road. Okay, I think I'm doing it. There we go. I think it'll look pretty attractive, too. Hopefully. And it shouldn't really slow down traffic too, too much. Not any more than the fucking losers standing in the middle of the fucking road are. Maybe the speaker stands are a bad idea to have in the central area. I mean, you need an area with a lot of space for speakers, right? I guess, theoretically speaking, you could probably set up another speaker stand area down here. And we may or may not remove the speaker stands up there and replace them with statues. I think that would be pretty good. So, hold up, this this little zone is 16 blocks long. So to be halfway in, just need to be 8 blocks up. But it's an even number, so, you know, that doesn't 100% work. I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I guess I can't believe myself. <laughs> Why did I do this? I guess this would be centered. Uh, I didn't really measure this. Oh, it's 16 by 16. So then maybe... I think what I will do is I'll have four of these fucking things. It is not going to leave much space, but then it should provide all the services that everyone wants or needs. Uh, let's see. If this was the correct length, I had five blocks. So I'm just going to want to replicate that horizontally as well. Oh, beautiful. That is actually perfect. So that's five blocks up here and five blocks up here. Perfectly even. And then we're going to want statues sort of in the corners. I don't really care that blocks off this university entrance. In fact, I'll close it off, like, properly. Um... This area up here is a little bit uh, congested, just because of where the roads are. I guess I could have a couple like tiny statues over here. The combination of these statues should be enough to provide 100% awe in conjunction with the plaza. Then I can have a torch on each side. And that should be 100% awe. Which will be cool. If not, then maybe we can fiddle with the statue size. I think I was, we'll still have these plazas here supplementing these uh, speaker stands. In fact, I think I'm going to delete the speaker stands right now. Replace them with statues. No, I should replace them with pillars. That would look more proper. Construction, decorations, pillar. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Those guys are out of a job, but they can just build a speaker stand. 
I think this plaza up here should also be a speaker plaza, to be honest. It just makes sense. I know we started this episode talking about the dwarves, but we'll, we'll get to the dwarves, okay? I wanted to settle this first. We've got 18 wide here. So half of 18 is 9. Uh, which means I could probably have two speaker stands sort of like each six blocks in. There we go. Perfectly even. Then two statues. Boom and boom. Should provide enough awe. Uh, I feel a little bit reticent to just do... I mean... Actually, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> just have the Great Wall. And then there can be like a singular torch in the center over here. The statues should provide enough awe. And then I think I do want some benches. We learned in a previous episode that the benches are not walkable. So unfortunately, we can't have them fully block the statues. But them being right there should be good enough. And I guess I could have, like, a couple over here. I hope none of these squares are, uh... No, they're all walls. Okay, that's perfect. In fact, I think I'm gonna, gonna make these benches one shorter over here, just so that uh, there's more space around the speaker stands. I think that'll be nice. So there we go. Temporary loss in speakers, but it'll be net increase. So for the actual dwarfinoids, uh, we already pretty much have an area set out for them. Though I do, the thought just did occur to me that it's going to take forever and a half to actually carve out this place. I'm speaking, of course, of down here. I mean, we might as well get some... Uh, some digging in, right? It'd be digging a mountain. We're gonna want some ginormous training halls. I should probably look at the dimension of the pre-existing dwarven training hall. Which, uh, how is that actually doing now, come to think of it? Let's see, the training hall is... Excuse me, oh, right here. Uh... 32, but it would really benefit from being 33. Okay. Don't think the spacing of this matters. Uh, I guess, importantly, each of these training thing dummies are like four blocks wide, but they're going to need a space in between them. But spaces can be... Yeah, so 31 is wide enough to have a full like kit of these things. Sadly, it looks like it's not uh, all the Andorians working here. That's kind of really annoying. I guess uh, there is this housing over here. Gonna have to be a little bit more diligent with the other training hall. Uh, we could probably... Do dwarves like the, the actual job of being trained anyways? Let's see. If we go to question, because it'd be a little fucked up if they didn't like the training yard thing. They don't. They only get 50% fulfillment from the training grounds, but they have this other thing, which is... What? So then maybe I shouldn't have dwarfs? Hmm. That's a little bit weird. What about the Garthemi? Do they like being... Uh, in the training arts? No, they don't either. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so wacky. I mean, if no one likes it, then I guess it would make sense to have Dwarven Divisions. Fuck it. So, digging a mountain, we're gonna want something that's 30 blocks wide. And then, I don't think the height matters quite as much. I'm just gonna say that this is the massive training hall. Uh, I don't want it to actually connect here because that would represent like a weakness in the uh, castle design. But we're definitely going to want, I guess, to open up some tunnels just immediately. 
some sort of service can go over here. Maybe it could be like a bathroom. And I'll connect that to the outside as well so that more digging can be done. I'm just going to add in some holes over here. And then, of course, the Dwarven housing. If I remember correctly, it's like 9 by 27 is the, like, good housing. But let's see. 27 by 9. Correct. Okay. Then, here's 9. Here's 27. It's fine that it touches the outside in that way, because it's just going to make the digging a little bit quicker. The housing being right here will be perfect. Looks like space is incredibly limited here. I mean, the general idea will be that there's services outside of the Dwarven Hall. I think the bathroom will be over here, which will be awesome. Guess I'll continue this hallway like this. Uh, this might not be enough housing. Can I maybe get like a 9 by 27 over here? I absolutely can. It does waste like a very small amount of space, but... I mean, if we really want to be cheeky with it, we could have like some sort of connecting building right here that uh, is a service. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. So each row is 18, 36, 72, plus 72 is 144. Cool. That's pretty much enough housing. Could maybe be a little bit better. I mean, I guess realistically speaking, I could have a I could have this place have a hallway right here and then have a 9 by 27 over here. Yeah, there we go. And then it's kind of a long distance between them and the services over here. I feel a little bit weird about having another block of services. I was maybe thinking of having more training uh, yards out here. I don't know. I guess there could be like some duplicate services down here, I guess. Maybe. I don't know if this would fuck up the proximity. Might as well create like a little side path over here just to connect the training hall to this zone. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, okay, let's say there was some sort of other training out. Wait, there's tons of space in this training ground. I think maybe I should hire uh, or cr create another division of Dwarfenoids. Just right now. Looks like I can get so many divisions. I can make this division bigger as well. I think I will do that. Then I'll have another Dwarfenoid division. That's going to want max training. Max armor. Max weapons. Oh, wow, I can go absolutely ballistic with it. That's going to instantaneously reduce the amount of odd jobbers. That is fine. I'll add in 100 Dwarven immigrants. Maybe a little bit foolhardy. Uh, but you know, it's cost doing business. I'll add in some humans and some elfenoids to like pick up the slack. And I guess some uh, pigonoids as well. Oh, we're really fucking low on food. That is not good. Uh, maybe, maybe we should increase taxes in the neighboring regions for food. I know Karnan probably could give a little bit more taxation. Looks like uh, Hartas could use a little. You know, Preact wouldn't be too bad. Just do like one more point in entertainment and then a point in vegetables and a point in infrastructure. There we go. More vegetable imports. It would be really nice to get more meat imports as well. Though all the prospects for meat absolutely suck cock in our uh, neighboring regions. It's like, ooh, 33% of 
fucking meat prospects. Literally hot garbage. I guess Kojirati's got 40% meat prospects, so I might as well do a tick and entertainment. And then do the uh, Arak Pasture taxation. There we go. So that's a little bit of meat, a little bit of leather, and a little bit of livestock. Not too bad, honestly. All things considered. And you know what? I will get... <laughs> Karnan will get it. Fucking get tax old. Oh, we could do another tax. I guess, uh... Could do clay. Or maybe stone. It's not really great prospects for either, but fuck it. I'll do stone. I don't think we need all that much clay. What's our clay situation? Oh, the dwarves are absolutely hating it. I mean, we added a bunch of them all at once when they weren't even at full loyalty. Oh yeah, we have way too much clay. I definitely... Definitely made the right decision not boosting that up. Oh, those poor dudes. Uh, fuck, what other shit can I do for them? Oh, they're barely even happy, even though they're yoinking up all of our jewelry. That's so fucked up. I guess we could get... If we allow them Sithelion, they're gonna absolutely go ballistic. No, they, we could up their drink rations. I think I'm gonna lower their jewelry rations. <laughs> I know it's it, they're gonna riot, but they, they are gonna get the jewelry. I mean, they are gonna get more drinks, okay. So hopefully that increases how much stuff they're gonna get. Why are these guys riding? Let's see. Oh, I think all their stuff's down. Yeah, I think I think it's just a knock-on effect of having uh, so many dudes added at once. You know what? We should have decent livestock, right? No, we, we have barely any livestock. That's absolutely horrendous. I mean, we don't really have room to get more livestock. I don't know what to say. I think I'm just going to advance the clock. You know, uh, for the for the Elfinoids, they already have two drink rations. I guess I'll up them to three drink rations. Surely that'll make them feel better, right? Let me guess, it's going to lower their tavern services because now they're going to be using the taverns more. What's their tavern quality? Okay, they have good quality, low proximity, low, uh, low access. Do I not have any taverns up near Elfland? I do, but there's no elves in Elfland up here. Oh, what about down here? There's a ton of elves down here. Yeah, and there's no services nearby. Okay, in that case, I could do another tavern, I guess. No reason not to have one. Like, sort of occupy this region over here. Can maybe, like, I don't know, call it the bow, because it's, like, vaguely bow shaped and it's near the boyer. We'll have pillars added in once the layout has been figured out. I'm going to make it one wider so I can have two tables. I think that would be badass. And I guess one wider up here as well. Even though that's going to exacerbate the uh, good old like problems with the height of the building. Or uh, with the uh, pillar situation. Might as well just make the side road extremely tiny so I can fit in another table. Our, our auxiliaries are going to be fine. The, the only thing that is maybe going to require uh, altering the building shape is these fucking yellow spots. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Uh, how do I fix this? I mean, the simple answer is just changing out the layout of this room. Could maybe... I don't know. I could remove a table... Then have a tinier table over here, and a tinier table over here, and do the same thing here. I know it's a little bit fucked, but it will just solve the pillar situation without too much loss in size. Then we can just get carpets, 
This building's not actually fully rounded, too. That's so fucked up. Oh, we're at 100% coziness, at least. How am I going to make this building more rounded? I mean, it's just this one corner over here, but if I block this off, then, you know, it's going to fuck up the roundedness. Wait, what? These pillars make the building less rounded? Excuse me? Uh, is there any other rounded pillars I could do? What if I remove this pillar? Literally doesn't make a dent. No, I don't care if this building's rounded. It'd be what it'd be. It's 100% coziness. It's going to satisfy their need for taverns. That's good enough for me. You know, one thing we could do, actually, to help the Dwarfanoids out... Oh, man, I don't know about this little road. I think... I think, uh... I'm gonna dismantle these. Yeah, it'll be noisy, but it'll... Uh, give them more room to breathe. One thing we could do for the Dwarfanoids is increase the awe in this, uh... place. You know? We have these, like, super-duper massive roads. So there's no reason we couldn't have, like, uh, pillars. It'll mildly reduce traffic. But it will make it where, you know, they'll have awe access the whole time. Right, and then, let's see, there's four blocks in between them. Guess I could construct a... Torch. That would increase their need for, uh... Lighting. There we go. So I should give them like a humongous boost in awe. And I could do like a big old one. Oh no, it has to be tiny if it's going to be centered. Yeah, I'll do a tiny one over here as well. It's a little bit asymmetrical, but whatever. Ah, fuck, I probably should. Probably should keep the trend going. Otherwise, it's going to look like awful. Okay, that should be good enough. Should provide 100% awe all the way down there to make the Dwarfanoids happy. Could do a bunch of little tiny statues over here as well. I really hate to uh, reduce the like movement rate of these duders, but like it's just gonna be such an increase in happiness. It'll probably be worth the minor like price of efficiency you know it just is what it is so there'll be some torches here I'll just have it have the shit on the one side I think that'll be good enough and this like row of tiny pillars should help out mostly it'll create a little bit more eye access at least yeah, it's, it has 27% awe now. It's gonna slowly increase. Now it's 33% awe. Now it's 40% awe. Now it's 40% awe. <laughs> okay, it kind of hits a hard cap. Now that was a major increase over the 20% awe I was before. Meanwhile, this one's hitting a solid like 60% awe. Very magnificent. It's a work in progress. The The actual, like, super increase has got to be the lighting. Because that's going to be probably, like, 100% lighting to 80% lighting down this entire hallway. Oh, man, their happiness is so fucked. Could increase the retirement age of the dwarves. I feel it's really bad to do so, though, because if there's ever going to be, like, a race that... Uh, be a massive drain on the coffers would be the fucking dwarves retiring because they live so long. Oh, I think we can just let time advance. How's the sickness? It is white shimmer. That's probably gonna super duper exacerbate the fucking odd jobber problem for sure. Guess I'll add in some more humans. Kind of tragic how low the happiness is becoming for all these dudes. I like that the pigs at least have a ton of happiness. Guess I'll add in like 90 of the motherfuckers. Oh, there's housing problems. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's it's all up in here. It's all falling apart in the Torben Quarter. 
It's not enough space allocated for housing. Um, well, conveniently, there is this, like, giant space over here. It's a little bit, uh, you know, not 100% ideal, but let's see. I mean, if we, if we extend this down by one block, then we can have two sets of Torben housing right there, and that'll help alleviate the problem. Apparently we have 61 homeless, and it's all Dondorians. That's not great. It's extremely not great. Well, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, is there any other places? Oh, it looks like these Dwarven apartment buildings that we were building at the end of last episode are getting constructed as well. That's going to help alleviate the issue. I'm slightly less concerned. I think we're going to be fine. We just need to let the stuff actually get built. It'd be nice to have another tavern here. I mean, this one isn't exactly filled up. It's the only thing. This one is pretty filled up. Pretty wacky zany. Oh, there we go. There's one last little piece of mountain that needs to be d dug up. Nah, the dwarves working on it as we speak. Come on, dig it up. You know you want to. I can put in the one row of them already. Yeah, three by 21. It, uh... Excuse me? What the hell? Isn't this 21? <laughs> Wait, what? What the hell? Oh, I wasn't counting for the outside space. No. Okay, uh... That kind of sucks. I mean, there's no way to get it to like fit good, except to have it be slightly short. Kind of extreme and lame, but uh, we can actually fix this because we can put like uh, pillars or something. I think that'd be pretty badass. Have like pillars and lights over here in the corners. In fact, I can just construct a torch right here right now. Yeah, there we go. There'll be another one on the opposite side. I mean, I guess I could just get that, like, plonked in right now. And then it's going to be two pillars or statues, which will make everyone just pog like crazy. In fact, I can put those in right now, too. There's no reason not to queue it up. Dwarves are actually going to love it. <laughs> See someone dragging a body by. I'm just going to happily ignore that. Could do a torch over here as well, and then a pillar. Actually, it probably should be the reverse of that, because the pillar does actually block line of sight of the light. Pretty sure discovered in a previous episode. So that'll be cool. That'll keep the people happy over there. You know, actually, we could probably construct like a hall of statues over here as well that way it'll maintain the like shipping lanes uh hold up i need to delete all of these jobs and then reconstruct it one block to the left i was gonna do another pillar over here then we can just deconstruct this uh no way, I can do the pillar over here, then... Boom. There we go. Magnificent. That'll increase the awe of everyone coming in and out of this place. They're just gonna go absolutely ballistic as they walk through this one hallway. Or they, you know, return to the depths of this zone over here. Could probably eat into the corner squares of these buildings as well. I don't know if it fucks up the isolation or not. But it would look pretty badass. So I kind of think I'll do it. Are the dwarves at all happier? I think they're a little bit happier. That 83% happiness. Their services are going down a little bit. The food is the major problem. We actually have a humongous crisis 
on our hands a little bit when it comes to the food. Oh no, there's been another training yard accident. I don't really know if there's much we could do. I mean, I guess realistically speaking, like if we look at the food, oh, only 2,000 of it is getting removed by spoilage. Oh no, that's not good. I was gonna say we could maybe uh, turn more of it into rations. Don't know if that's necessarily the greatest idea. So it looks like our ration warehouse is completely full, but the, f <laughs> the free warehouses are completely empty. Oh, uh, no. Fuck, do I have anywhere? Anywhere I can get more food from? I guess we could start importing food. That seems really trash, though. I mean, we already do import mushrooms. Maybe once the jewelry... The jewelry exports start like hitting the bloodstream. We can get away with uh, importing food. As it stands, I think it'd be a little bit foolhardy. I mean, here's a little bit of a good area. Could do like one more food f fruit farm, I guess. Just gonna yoink up this kind of like fertile or semi fertile territory over here. And then we can just put like some wells in. Let's see, it's 100% organic, 76% fertility. Seems pretty dope to me. Uh, I'll just dig some canal, I think, because we should have plenty of water table, but with all the river we're removing. There we go. It's very okay. That's not going to put a dent in the food problems, but it will make me feel slightly better. It does look like this little area is like a, there could be a strip of farms as well. Probably would maybe make more sense just to, uh, you know, add more of the wonderful taxes. There's 4,000 tax points that we've got. I know a Yervin probably could use more taxes. Yervin, once again, has terrible prospects. Silverstone. Don't really want to do... Oh, no. Actually, you know what? A stair. We could boost up a stair. This is going to be like a little bit of a massive... Uh, investment in our stuff. But that is fine. That's what the points are for. And then, boom, another tick in vegetable farms and fruit farms. The rest of the prospects are a little bit not so great. So I don't think they're really worth pursuing. Yeah, 13% mushroom prospects. There we go. That's going to be quite the... Uh, bread basket for us will help out a little bit. Karnan could be another one of our project towns as well. I think I will do that. So that's like three pips in infrastructure, a point in sanitation, and then another pip in taxation of fruits and vegetables. Uh, and then one pip in law, <laughs> one pip, pip in infrastructure. How much fruit are we getting from taxation again? We're getting... Let's see... 1.6 thousand per tick, so that should increase a little bit. Yeah, we're making a... a small surplus in food right now. I mean, if these are yearly, and we're just losing like 8k per year, and I've added a few hundred per day, that should tweak things. Uh, oh no, we have no people. Did the, uh... Oh, the laboratory hit the veins. Okay, in that case, then we can get rid of some of these labs. I guess this lab. Uh, right over here. How many lab workers? It's 36. Pack your things and leave. 
uh, you can go work in the other lab. That way it can no longer be the fucking shame of our country. Oh yeah, this whole area is going to get deconstructed. I might as well just fucking yoda it right now. And I can delete room. Boom. There we go. Oh, there's a couple dudes there. I'm sure they're pretty pissed off. I would be too in their shoes. Would be cool to have a grand library as well. Uh, is there any way to get like a hundred more people for the labs? I guess I could delete this room as well. Don't know what I'm going to put in its place. Maybe, uh, could do another like tiny plaza, I guess. Wouldn't be too bad. Right, we move one plaza over here and one plaza over here. So if we look at the services, could always use a little bit more new spot action, right? I think that'll be fine. Uh, speaking of tourism, let's see. I've seen things you, people wouldn't believe. Frigates on fire on the shores of Lithia. Watch shore folk mating by the lighthouse of Pier. Where was I? Oh, New Ganymede. Yes, it's okay. I recommend it. The laboratories are a sight to remember. Excellent lavatories. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen these motherfuckers talk about the uh, libraries. Not entertained. Overwhelmingly positive. Interesting. Well, whatever. I'm sure there'll be like a huge amount of money that we get introduced to the economy once this uh, inn has been constructed. It should be relatively quick to construct too. I guess we just have been languishing with the lack of odd jobbers this whole last time. I mean, I'll add in more humans and uh, I guess I'll add in more Garthemis. There we go. To solve that problem. Looks like we're rising in science points as well. You know what? Oh, it costs 28,000 to increase the edible crops. Oh no, this one's a lot cheaper. Yeah, I guess I'll get this one first. Three and four. It's a humongous science point investment, but it should increase food output by 40%. That will be cool. Looks like this Don Dorian housing block was completed. Is this place 100% on now? Oh yeah, one hundo. Magnificent. Uh, what is the homeless situation now? It still says 34 homeless. But it's still... Still there's homeless masons and shit? <laughs> Excuse me? What the hell? Okay, I mean, uh... Desperate times call for desperate measures. We could have a set of dorms over here. We just need to uh, dig in the mountain a little bit. I guess I will do that. Dormitories are five blocks wide. So yeah, I can uh, just lift this up here and then... Let's see, boom, one, two, one, two, boom. I'll just double check. So civics, housing, house, dormitory. Yeah, that'll fit perfectly actually. Then we just need to remove water over here slightly. Shouldn't be too bad. They're actually gonna remove this uh, feature by the way in the 1.0 of the Songs of Six. Not, uh, not like all removing water, but the ability to remove deep water. Just, just on a random note. It seemed like insanely complicated. I'm really paranoid that it's gonna be like a fucking giant pain in the ass to set up farms. But you know, maybe, maybe I'm reading it wrong. You know, speaking of farms, there could actually be some farms on this coast over here. Maybe. Not sure if we're gonna need it. I mean, we're gonna need it if we're gonna want to expand anymore. Yeah, fuck it. I guess I will have a farm over here. It'll just be like a farm on the strip of territory. 
It's going to be pretty huge. It's going to just extend all the way over here. As far as the farm, like, uh, space limits will allow me to. It'll be a nice change of pace for a lot of the pignoids, because I know that many of them have been stuck in, like, dead-end jobs that they do not care for. As opposed to the farming jobs, <laughs> which for some reason they like. Oh, this is actually ex perfect. It can just be a singular farm. Just tapping all these blocks. That's so fucking goaded. How much of the space can I take without fucking the fertility? Looks like we're fucking it up a little bit. It's hard to say no to just increasing the farm size though. Just a little bit more. Okay, 13.01 workers. Area must be continuous. Oh, there's a fucking floating block somewhere. There it is. Boom. 13 farmers exactly. I suppose realistically speaking, I could dig some canal back here as well. No reason not to just like increase the fertility greatly. Uh, you know, I could do a little bit of the well technology as well. Health, well. Not to save on water table as much as to like provide some well access. So I know the pignoids love the wells. Uh, they're going to need some housing. There's only 13 dudes, so a longhouse provides houses for 15 residents. So having one in the corner over here will actually be enough for all these farmers, which will be golden. Hold up, is there no fucking bathroom over here? Excuse me, I've been underserving this community, like, intensely. Okay, I mean, I'll build a latrine. Why not? It'll go right behind the farm. You know, there'll be rumors that, uh... The farmers get their fertilizer from this latrine. Which will obviously be, uh... Denied. Is this going to be enough basins? I wonder. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, it's not going to be enough basins. I guess I can just reduce this latrine size. I've got to be able to get away with, like, a super basin. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's room for 25 services. Then it'll just be, like, a bunch of tiny doors. It's still isolation one hundo. Fantastic. So I'll provide a bathroom for all the boyer people and also all the farmers. Which will be cool. You know, I think to round the episode off, since the episode started with some plazas, I think I want to end it off on some plazas as well. I think I want to get rid of this lab over here, even though that's extremely, like, not great. I'm going to dismantle the structure. It's going to be a small loss in science points, but that is fine. So the first plaza I'm going to build is going to be over here. It's going to be in the zone here. It's a very skinny plaza. It's 25 by 8, which means entertainment-wise, we do a stage. Hold up, do we want a stage? We do not want a stage. I meant a speaker stand. Fuck, how big is 8 by... 25. Sounds like uh, the speaker stand can fit right in the center. It'll just be 12 blocks up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wait, what? 3, 6, 9, 12. And then there should be an equal block amount of blocks on the other side. So 9, 6, 9, 12. So if the speaker stand goes over here, I guess the speaker will just be in the back and it'll be like a one a one directional type of plaza. So this should be like, there's eight blocks here and there's eight blocks here. There we go. And then we could do decorations and have statues. Just fill up the rest of the area is here. And then, of course, decorations. We have 
two torches sort of occupy this region over here. Which should fill this place unless the uh, speaker stands like fuck it up somehow. I don't know, it's possible. This should have 100% awe. Uh, I would imagine. Then I could do some like ginormous benches over here. I think that'll be cool. And then to boost the awe on the other side, I guess I could do like a bajillion tiny statues. Does that make sense? It could be pillars. Yeah, I think pillars would be cool. So decorations, pillars. Oh, There we go. I think that'll be neat. It's going to be a little bit of time before this other structure is claimed. This will be the university over here, and there'll be a long, like another long plaza over here. I mean, we could maybe do a pavilion. Let's see, can a pavilion fit in this zone? Oh, it fits just perfectly. I mean, it is going to fuck up the uh, road situation. A little bit. <laughs> you know, there's not really much we can do about that. I guess it could be in the back over here. So it fucks up the intersection. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we need more pavilions, right? I guess in the center should be good. How big is this? This is a 37 block, Marty. Okay, and then a pavilion is specifically 10 by 10. So if it's 37, then that means this motherfucker is not gonna fit in the center. Oh, that's lame. Well, we could just add a roadblock somewhere. Yeah, like on this side. So let's pretend it's 36. So that would be 13 blocks. So one, two, three. And then we just move it so that the center is over here. No, <laughs> that is not accurate. So 13. So 10. One, two, three. Then I guess it's over here. Or maybe it's one block back. That way it's 12 on each side. So then this would be 12. This is 11? No, I'm fucking dumb as fuck. How the fuck have I... Fu <laughs> My brain is melting. Okay, let's say... I'm just going to put... This is 36. I'm fucking retarded. It's 18 blocks on each side. I'm... How the fuck did I fuck that up? That is so embarrassing. No wonder it was off-center. Okay. So we're going to want 17 on each side. Right. No, if I, if I shorten it by one, then... I think... I'm just going to put a little marker. So it's 36. Then 18 is over here. And I'll put a couple nubs. And then it should be, yeah, 18 and 18, which means the pavilion is centered right here. How the fuck, how do I tie my shoes in the morning? This is ridiculous. Okay, then uh, we don't want plaza on each side of the pavilion. Then on each side of each side of the pavilion, we're going to want, let's see, this is 10 blocks tall. Which means we can fit two ginormous statues that'll just be looking in, and then there can be torches, sort of, you know, on the edges. Like so. That should provide the lighting. And I kind of think I'm going to need a little bit more statue action. Maybe a uh, pillars. Yeah, we could do that. Just construct decoration pillars. Just four, four block pillars. And that'll provide all that. And then, last but not least, I don't know why I'm reselecting the thing each time. We just put like a couple tiny benches. Actually, you know what? The...
statues should be accessible from these little corners in the back, right? Which means we could actually have the benches like fully be in front of the statues. I like to picture like the statues are on little like pedestals, so they're still visible even with someone sitting below them. There we go. So that'll be the stage. Uh, maybe it would make sense to have like a speaker stand as well. No, I think that's a little bit space inefficient. Uh, I don't know. There could be a... We could destroy this house because like, come on, bro. They can like move slightly somewhere else. Sorry. Oh, they're going crazy. I don't blame them. I'd be pretty pissed off too. Then there could be like a microplaza in this kind of region. And then once the plaza's done, we can put some speaker stands in. In fact, I might as well just uh, pre-jack the speaker stands. We're going to want them like up against this uh, archery range to reduce the audio levels, right? The noise pollution. And I could put like a torch, I don't know, tiny torches over here. Don't know if that's going to actually help prevent the sound from fucking things up, but it will look nice. Which will be cool. Then eventually that structure will be dismantled and there will be even more plants over there. And we can build statues or something. Oh, looks like the homelessness did actually go down. It's still a little bit of a problem this soon. I don't know if there's like a quick and easy solution other than like digging into... Actually, you know what? These dorms will be the quick and easy solution. Never mind. I think on that note, we can end the episode here. We have... I know it doesn't seem like we, you know, hit our benchmark, and that's because we slightly didn't, but... We actually did add 200 Dondorians. So if we look at our environment thing... Yeah, melee training is now up to 10%. We've gotten, I think, 0.3 fulfillment. <laughs> no, 0.03 fulfillment from it. <laughs> Which is nice, you know? They, uh... They're getting happier. Maybe we could do, like, uh... If we look at the training menu, like, if we don't have a uh, full-time training, are they not full-time soldiers? Could it be that they, like, rotate? Let's see, does it say? Let's see, the more soldiers are trained, the deadlier they are. They'll then train until a desired level. Training recruits and soldiers do not work. If training says to max, soldiers will train in perpetuity and thus be professional soldiers. So maybe if we had like dwarf divisions where it was one tick, they would learn how to do melee training and then go back to their jobs as smiths or something. I don't know how that exactly works. It's so tragic every time I look at this fucking place over here as well. This giant, this cantor, like, sector that is just being kind of occupied by other people. So we have zero cantors. Those motherfuckers, they're so uppity. One day this temple to authority will be complete, and then they'll come crawling back to us. But that'll have to be a tale for another time. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Songs of Six. Goodbye!